Hey, what's going on guys? Colin here with Red Beans and Dice. Today we're going to be playing Quest 1 out of the Zombicide core set Black Plague. And then we're going to actually be throwing in the Wolfberg expansion into it to just make it that much better. So give me a second here, I'm going to get the board set up and we're going to go through Quest 1, big game hunting, and it's going to be great. You're going to love it. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we got the big game hunting quest one out of the core set for Zombicide Black Plague setup. I just wanted to point out one thing. These are actually made by me. These doors do not come with the game, so I just didn't want to give anybody false information there. We're also just going to be playing with five survivors over here that I've picked out. We got Carl, Clovis, Nelly, Theo, and then Baldrick. So we're just using five. It calls for six, but I, I think I can do it in five and it might shorten down the video a little bit and just let you kind of get uh, get some of the gameplay going. So there's that. And then also I am not going to be using noise tokens. So whenever you use anything that like when you break a door or if you use a spell, you're supposed to put a noise token down just for speeding things along a little bit. And then when I play with my friends or <laughs> whenever I play it in general, I just I don't use the noise tokens. I think they're for missions like this. They're usually everyone's going to be together. They're going to be coming at you one way. So I have the objective token set up and then underneath one of these objective tokens randomly is going to be an X, a blue X. So when I flip over the blue X, it's going to spawn a necromancer, or if there's already a necromancer on the board, it's going to be an abomination. And then the objectives for this mission are going to be slay the beast and its master. So I have to kill at least one abomination and one necromancer, which shouldn't be too hard. Those things pop up all over the place. And then also we have to take all objectives. Over here we have the vaults. I got the purple vaults over here. They connect to each other. We're supposed to put a vault weapon in each one of these randomly. So yellow vaults over here. All right, so we quickly discovered the starting point of the zombie invasion. Other survivors spotted a huge zombie wandering the streets and some kind of sick wizard directing the horde to engulf us. It took us days to pinpoint the necromancer's location and understand the abomination can't be killed by any weapon at our disposal. Let's raid the necromancer's laboratory and take them both out with a secret brew of our own, dragon fire. Let the hunt begin. Okay, so we are playing with the Wolfberg expansion, so there is actually gonna be a couple weapons also that we can kill the abomination with. So we're gonna have the wolf abomination coming at us. We're also gonna have the regular abomination coming at us. And then there's a couple of weapons in the equipment deck over here that we can draw that will actually kill the abominations also. So just letting you know that. So we got our five survivors over here. We're gonna try to break these doors down, get these objectives, not die. <laughs> so that's that's basically our objective. And once we get that done, we win the game. So we got spawn zones up here, 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 and let's get into it. So first to start off, I'm going to use Nelly. I'm gonna use her free action to move here. Then I'm going to use her sword to try and open that door. So one dice, four or higher. Okay, I got a five. So this is going to crack open like that. This is one room in here. We're going to have to spawn a card for that. Okay, so we got one walker. Not too bad. So with her second action, I'm going to move into here. And then with her third action, I'm going to try to take a swing at that walker. So four or higher for the sword that Nelly has. I got a three, not good enough, okay. Next we're gonna do Theo, and I'm gonna use his sprint ability, which lets me move three spaces for one action. Really good ability, so first action. Second action, I'm gonna try to swing at that walker in there, four or higher. Okay, I got a four, so walker goes bye-bye, and we're gonna go ahead and give Theo an experience. So he has one action left, I believe. I'm gonna use that to, I'm gonna use that to search the room for a better weapon for, for Theo, so. Oh man. Okay, so the first card I drew off the top is place one standard walker in the zone you just searched. So that sucks. So basically this, this walker is coming back and that's the end of his turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Clovis, one, two, and I am going to hopefully with his hammer, try to kill that walker so it doesn't do a point of damage to somebody in this room. So he's got the plus one die to melee, so I'm going to have two dice when I roll for that, four or higher. Okay, I got a five, luckily, ooh, thank God. Okay, that goes away, Clovey gets an experience, and I think that was his third action, so yeah, one, two, attack, yep, that's three. 
So Baldric is going to go one, two, and I am going to pick up the objective token with Baldric, and it doesn't have the blue X underneath it that we need to spawn the Necromancer. So that's five experience. All these all these experience or objective markers are going to give you five experience. So Baldric's all the way up to five. That's his third action right there. One, two, search. That's three. Or, excuse me, pick up the objective token. That's three. Carl, with a K, is going to go one, two. And then for his third action, I am going to search the room, see if I can get him a better weapon. Okay, so I got him apples. That's horrible. That's one of the worst things you can draw. You get one experience, and it is what it is. I got apples. All right, so that's going in the backpack. I probably won't use that right away so that's it for our survivors so now we're going to spawn at each one of our locations we'll start off with this spawn point over here so i will draw a card for that so it's a double spawn card so that means i'm going to go to my next location and i'm going to draw two okay oh that was the uh equipment deck there <laughs> whoops okay so i got another double spawn and then i have a wolf, a zombie wolf invasion. So one wolf, since we're still in the blue, that's gonna go there. And then we're gonna go over here and do a double spawn over there. Okay. And then you draw these at the same time and resolve them uh, in order that you drew them. So I drew the one runner, then the one fatty. So one runner, one fatty. All right, we kind of got loaded up right there where we didn't want to be, so it is what it is. All right, so that's it for the zombie spawn. Not too bad. We're going to go back into the survivors. So I'm going to actually try and crack this door right here. So I am going to use... I'm going to use Theo, and I'm going to try to crack this door right here for or higher. Okay, we've got a five, so this is open now. Now we can get into there. And I'm going to move... Uh, let me see here. I think with Theo's second action, I am going to search. So I will search with him. And he got a hammer. So hammers are great. They do two points of damage. That means it can kill a fatty. So good weapon to have. And he's got one more action. I am, I'm gonna try to open this vault door, just get it cracked just in case we need to go through there, so. And also there's a cool weapon in there we can pick up, so let's see if we can get a four or higher and crack the door. Nope, only got a three, so Theo's turn is done. I'm gonna use Clovis now, and I'm gonna use his first action to move into this square, and I'm going to attack these zombies, so. When it's a melee attack, I get to put my damage wherever. If it's a range attack, you have to target fatty's abomination or walkers first, then fatty abominations, then runners, then necromancers. So that is that. Okay, I got a six, so that's one success. So I'm gonna take this fatty out because right now him and Theo are the only people that have the ability to kill them. So that's one more experience for Clovis. Moving on up to the east side. And then third action, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill that, that runner right there. Because he gets two activations and that's two points of damage, so that's no good. Oh, boom. Six and six and a five, so definitely gone. And then Clovey's up to three experience. And I am going to use Anne to try and crack this door right here, so four or higher. Okay, first action whiff, four or higher. I got it. So I crack this open. That means the vault, the, the, the vault door is open so I can move into here. Vaults don't spawn zombies. That's one of the good things. Can't search in a vault, doesn't spawn zombies. So that's that. I'm going to use her free action to move into here. And with her last action, I'm going to pick up this vault weapon, which is the Orcus crossbow. Orcus, Orcus Crossbow, wow. And this is a great weapon because you can use it as a melee or a range attack. It does two damage. Very good. It's a vault weapon. You want to get these. So early on, she's got a range weapon that's really good that can also be a melee weapon. So that is it for her, I believe. Yep, she missed. Opened the door. Free movement. Picked it up. That's three actions. 
And let's move on to Baldrick. I'm gonna go ahead and search with Baldrick. And Baldrick got a great sword. Oh, that's awesome. So these two guys, Carl and Baldrick with spells, they cannot really crack these doors with those spells, so they need a melee weapon, so that's that. So Baldrick is gonna move here with his second action, and then the third action, I'm gonna try to crack that door. So great sword, I need a five or higher. Didn't get it. And we're on to Carl. So with Carl, I'm going to search this room. And Carl got a torch, which is good. If I get Dragon Bile, I can create Dragon Fire to kill an abomination. But also, if I search a room again next turn, I, I can only search a room once this turn. But if I do it next turn, I get two cards when I search. So that's, that's a great thing to grab. So I guess he's just going to join everybody out here to... And, yep, we'll just leave that at that. And now we're going to go on to spawn. We're going to go ahead and move the wolf, then spawn the zombies. Okay, so we're going to move the wolf three spaces. It gets three activations. That's, that's a lot of activations. So one, two, three. You can see these things moving really quick on you. So we'll probably want to take care of that. And that's it for the zombie movement. He's the only guy on the board. So now we're going to go ahead and spawn for our zones, starting at the same one we did last time. So let's see if I can grab the right card here. Necromancer, not good. Okay, so Necromancer card has been drawn. We're going to go ahead and put a little spawn zone up here. And then the Necromancer model itself. Then we actually have to draw a card right away for that Necromancer spawn zone. So no good. No good is going to come out of this. Okay, so two walkers. That's not, that's not too bad, so... Grab two walkers and put them down in the square where he's at. Now we're going to move on to this location over here. And, oh god, I got another Necromancer card. Okay, that's not too bad. He, that just means he moves one space forward. And the Necromancer, I made a video about this, but if you didn't watch it, the Necromancer is going to actually target spawn zones. So you don't want to get him to here, because if he gets to another spawn zone, he's actually going to make this Necromancer spawn zone permanent, which means more stuff coming at you. Not good. So it moves him along. We're over here. Hopefully he can come around here and we can get somebody to kill him. So that was for this spawn zone. Now we're on to this one. And, oh, geez, another Necromancer spawn zone. Okay, so that just means he moves... Over there, we got a, there's a bunch of Necromancer cards in there, so sometimes they get wadded up. Or maybe I didn't shuffle the best, but anyway, he's moving along and there's no spawns there, so on to the survivors. So I'm going to start with Nelly. I'm going to use her free action to move here. Then I'm going to search in that room, see if I can get something good. I got Chain Lightning, which is a spell. My Orcish Crossbow with... Nelly is actually better, so I'm going to keep that. And then second action, and then third action, I'm going to try to crack this door with her. So I'll need a four or higher. Didn't get it. So now we are on to, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and move Baldrick out here. And then he has the spellcaster ability that lets him shoot a spell of his for free. So I'm going to use that. I need a four or higher. And I got a five, so excellent. Wolf is gone. Put him over there. Baldrick gets an experience. Oh, I didn't see that. He's up to six experience. I don't want to get any more with him. I don't want to be in yellow quite yet. So he moved, free spell. Second action, he's going to move back here. And he is actually just going to wait there. So on to, on to Clovis. Yeah, let's use Clovis here. So I'm going to try to break this door down with Clovis, see what happens. Okay, three. That's my first action. Second action, I got a six. So I cracked that door. Now we have two rooms. This is a big room, but it's just one room. So we got one room here, one room here. So we're going to spawn right here for the first one. And one extra activation for fatties, but we're in the blue. So nothing happens. So great, we dodged that bullet. Now we're going to spawn for this room right here. And it's going to be two walkers, so that's not not too bad at all okay okay so let's see here I think Clovis has one more action I'm gonna move him into here 
Then with Carl, I am going to move him into here for his first action. And then I'm going to use his Mana Blast to shoot into here. It just gets one dice, but his ability that he starts out with gives him plus one to... What is it? Plus one to magic, so he's got a spell, so he's going to roll two dice for that. So with his second action, he's going to shoot into here. And he got one. Great. Give him an experience. And with his third and final action, I am going to shoot into there again. Oh, and I biffed it. Okay, so <laughs> no good. And that's it for his turn. Then I am going to use Theo. And I am going to use his sprint ability. So one, two, three. And that just cost me one action. Theo's a very good character. And he has a sword and a hammer. Now the hammer does two damage, the sword does one, but I only need one for this, so it doesn't matter which, which weapon I'm gonna use. So for my second action, action I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill him four or higher with the, let's just say I'm using the sword. Okay, I got a four or higher. Boom, he's gone. Then with my last action, I will I will try to pick up this spawn, or excuse me, this objective token right here. Okay, so I pick that up, and that gives him five experience all the way to six. He's almost into the yellow, and it wasn't the blue objective token, so nothing happens there. Let's see here. I think that's it for our survivors. Goes pretty quick when you only got when you only got five. Okay. So that's it for everybody here. Now we're gonna move these zombies along. So these guys are gonna move that way. Necromancer is gonna move that way. And then we are going to spawn for that zone up there. And we got one wolfie. Oh, okay, boom, right there. Then we have to spawn for that pesky necromancer spawn zone right there. One runner. Okay, so we got some fast things coming at us. Up north, or I guess it's south for you guys. I'm playing a little reverse here. So over here, we're gonna spawn for that zone. Okay, we got one walker. And then over here, right in our in our space, we're gonna spawn for that zone over there. So, okay, and oh God, we got one abomination. Okay, so that is really not good. So that means we're gonna have to put an abomination right here, right where we didn't wanna be. So we don't have anything to kill that yet, so we are gonna have to search like crazy for some dragon bile or a weapon that can kill him. So that was a really bad card to draw right there. We'll see what happens as we go on. Okay, so we're on to our survivor's turn. We moved everybody, we spawned our zombies, and now it's our survivor's turn. So I don't have anything that can kill this big abomination guy down here, so I do not wanna be in his space. So what I'm going to do is get everybody out of there first off. <laughs> so I'm going to use Nelly and I'm going to use when there's a zombie in your space, you have to use an extra action for how many zombies there are to move out of it. So instead of just moving one, I have to go one, two. So that's two actions with her. Then for my third action, I'm going to pick up this objective marker right here. Oh, it's not the blue one. Okay, so no big deal, but not the blue one. And then I think she has a free movement action left. I will, I'm gonna get away from that thing. Let's get Baldrick out of there too. So one, two for Baldrick. And then I'm gonna search. I'm gonna search with Baldrick. So see if I can get something. Try and kill that abomination that's just coming at us really quick. I mean, it's like third turn. So, oh, that's a, that's a spawn zone. I need an equipment card, so. Repeating crossbow for Baldrick. Eh, that's, that's not gonna work. That's not what I wanted, so. That's it for him, and then we've already used Nelly, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move into here with Carl, and then he has the torch, if you remember. I'm gonna use that torch to draw two cards from the equipment deck. So one, two. Okay, I got the Bastard Sword and the Flaming Great Sword, both really good weapons, but I cannot, I can't kill anything, I can't kill the Abomination with either of these, so. They're gonna have to go in the backpack spot for now. And then the flaming great sword I can't use until I get into the yellow levels, so. And then I have a little trick here. It's it's called cheesing it hard. That's what I call it. So Carl has the torch. He's moved into here, he's searched, and then for his next action, I am going to actually give that torch over to who ha uh, somebody who hasn't moved yet. So I'm gonna give it to Theo. So Theo's gonna grab that torch. Then I'm going to activate 
Theo as our next survivor. Then I'm going to get to draw two cards with him to try to get something. He's going to search. And he got leather armor. That's good, but not what we need. Chaos longbow. I can't use that until I get higher experience, so not good. Uh, leather armor gives you a save roll of five or higher, so I will put that up here and equip it to Theo. And with his second action, I am actually going to try and crack that door. Might as well. We may need to get out of here. We may need to make a run for it. So, okay, so I crack this door. That is open. He's got one more action left. Not 100% sure what to do. I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on his turn. Or no, I'll move I'll move into here so I could possibly... Or no, no, I'm going to pass. I'm going to leave him right there. So Clovis is the last one to go. I'm going to move him into here. And I'm going to trade for his second action. I'm going to give the torch to Clovis. So that means he gets two cards that he gets to draw from the equipment deck. So I, got a, I drew a Mana Blast, which is absolutely worthless. And then water. <laughs> So, not good. I'm not drawing very well. Um, I'm going to put both those in my backpack and not use either one of them. Clovis into here with his third action to see if he can possibly grab that Vault art Artifact next turn and see what happens. Okay, so it's on to Zombie Activation. So, let's just get it over with. We're going to move the Abomination into here. He's coming towards us. All the noise is over here. And then he actually has Line of Sight to Baldrick in this room. Necromancer moves, walkers move one, runners move two, wolves move three, and then walker one. And then we're going to spawn up here for the regular spawn zone first. Nothing in sight. Boom. Uh, double spawn for the necromancer spawn zone. So we're going to go down here and draw two spawn cards. Oh, okay, good. We, <laughs> we got uh, the wolf abomination. If you're in the blue and you draw the wolf abomination card, Nothing happens, so we're still in the blue, thank God. But we did draw this second one with two wolves coming through, which is... It's not good. The wolves really, really complicate things and spice everything up. So, there's that. Now I believe we have to go down here and draw another spawn card. And, oh, we got, we got three wolves down here. So it's not looking good. That's, that's not, really, not really where we wanted wolves. Uh, that's what you get when you when you get the wolves. So, all right. So we've spawned everything. Now we're gonna need a really big turn of really good drawing, and I need something to kill this abomination with, or else it's gonna be game over. This could be a short video. So we're gonna activate Baldric first. I'm just gonna get him out of here. So one, two. I have to use two movement actions to get out of the abomination room. So right into there. And third action, I'm gonna search with him. So. Let's uh, pray to God we get something good. Okay, I got more apples. That's that's horrible. I keep getting water and apples. It's, you know, my guys aren't hungry. They need stuff to kill zombies with. So that's it for Baldrick. Next, I am going to use Clovis. And I'm going to grab this. It's a Inferno spell, which is really good, but it doesn't kill the Abomination. Second action, I'm going to move back into here. And I am actually going to search with the torch. So I'm going to get two cards. <laughs> okay, so I got a repeating crossbow. And then I actually drew a card that spawns a zombie in the room that I am at. So here we go. Plop. And that is it for Clovis's turn. Clovis, you did nothing. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and activate Carl. And Carl has the bastard sword, two dice. And I am going to kill this guy, or hopefully try to. Two dice, four higher, and it does two damage, which is great. Not necessary with a walker, but it does do two damage. Okay, I got a six. Very good. This goes away. Carl with the K gets two exper or one experience. He jumps up to two. And then with my second action, I am going to steal the torch from Clovis. And I'm going to put it in my hand. And for my third action, I am going to search the room with Clovis and get two cards. Okay, he got an axe and chain lightning. So chain lightning is good. I'm going to go ahead and replace my mana blast with that. An axe is, it's basically a, uh, like a beginner weapon. The only thing is with an axe, you can just use an action to crack a door. You don't have to roll for it. So if you need to get through that door right away, equip an axe. Or if you have a good weapon and you want something that just cracks doors for you, equip an axe. So once again, not what I wanted. So Carl is done with his turn. 
Next, we are going to do Theo. I'm going to steal the torch from Carl. And second action, or first action, I traded with Carl. Second action, I'm going to draw from the equipment deck over here. So I got two really good weapons. They are magical weapons, I believe. The Shield of Ages, which gives me plus four armor. And then the Dragonfire Blade, which I can actually create Dragonfire, but the only thing is I have to be into the orange level to use these, and I am not. So he's he's gotten really good weapons, but one thing about the Wolfberg expansion, the magical weapons, is you actually have to be a higher level to proceed and uh, use those weapons. So it can be a little tricky. So there's that. Theo did not do anything. Okay. Next up, I got Nelly. I'm going to trade with Theo, and I'm going to grab that torch, and I'm going to see if she can get something that's worthwhile in here. Okay, she got another torch, which is good, I guess, but it doesn't really help me out too much. She got some water. So I need some dragon bile, or there's a couple different weapons that I think can kill the abomination. So I haven't gotten any of that yet. Okay, so she traded, searched. I'm going to use my free movement to move into here. And then we may have to just start getting away from this thing. I don't I don't know what else we can do. So I'm gonna try and crack that door over there with Nelly. Oh I can't. I got the Orcish crossbow. It doesn't it doesn't crack doors, so whoops. I'll just stay in that room and eat my mistake. Next up we got Baldrick, who is going to search in that room. So he's got the torch. He's gonna get two cards to search the equipment deck. Okay, so we got the earthquake hammer. And he got chainmail armor, so nothing yet. It's not looking good, guys. The Earthquake Hammer, if I roll a 6, I get one extra damage, but the thing is I have to be an orange, and I am not an orange yet. So Baldrick is going to run away into this room like a, a scared little girl and get out of there. And that's it for our survivors, so it's not looking good. These wolves are going to go 1, 2, and activate in there. So that's 3 damage that's going to be put on to somebody. So we'll see about that next turn, all right? So zombie activation. We're gonna move this big guy forward. Wolves go one, two, and then all three of these activate in this room. So there's gonna be three points of damage onto either Carl, Theo, or Clovis. So Theo has leather armor, so that's a five or higher save. So I'm gonna try that first. I'm gonna use first point of damage on Theo. Okay, I got a three, so he moves down to two life. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try it again, I'm feeling lucky. Okay, I got a four, so he's down to one. He's almost dead. Uh, for the next point of damage, I'm just gonna put it on to, I'm gonna put it on to Clovis, so he's just gonna automatically gonna go down to two. And then we're gonna move Walker up. Wolves go one, two, three. We're gonna move the Necromancer along. This wolf over here, one, two, three. Runner goes one, two. Walkers go one. And then we're gonna draw for the spawn zone up there. Okay, we got double spawn, so we're going to go to the Necromancer spawn zone and draw two. We got a double spawn on that, and then nothing in sight, so thank God for that. We're going to go over here and draw two because of our double spawn. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so we got a, an Abomination card. So, okay, well we've got a Necromancer card first, so he moves up there. Then we got the Abomination card, so that means he activates, and I don't get an armor save for that. He's so big and strong, he just automatically does a point of damage. I will take that point of damage onto Carl. So these guys are almost dead in here, man. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Probably run away, scream, cry, talk to my therapist. We drew over there, and we got a Necromancer and the Abomination, so we're good. We go over here and just draw one. And we got three wolves again. Man, I just keep spawning things right where I don't want them. And these wolves are starting to pack up on me, no pun intended. So that's it for their turn. Let's, uh, we, we moved, we spawned, now it's our survivor's turn, so let's get into that. So we're on to our survivor's turn. So I am going to use Clovis, and I'm going to take his hammer and try to kill some of these wolves so I can actually move out of this Base. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attack with Clovis. Try and kill some of those wolves. I can't hurt the abomination at this moment, so. Okay, I got one, so that goes away. Second action, I'm gonna attack these wolves right here. 
two of them. Okay, perfect. And then I have one more action, but I need two to move out of that space with the Abomination. So it looks like Clovis is going to just bite the bullet there. With Theo, I'm going to move one, two into here. And I'm going to try to break that door down. Okay, got a two, so I whiffed on that. With Carl, I am going to go one, two into the vault and try to break that door down. So four or higher. Got a one, not happening. And then with Anne, I am actually going to try and break that door down also. Four or higher. Got a five. So we crack this vault door. Now these are two rooms. We're going to have to spawn something in the, both of these rooms. So we'll do this one first. And we got one walker. And we'll do this room right there. Another walker, not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna use her free action and move into here. And I'm going to attack. Orger's crossbow does two damage, three or higher, two dice. So I got that guy. He is gone. Oh, and I'm sorry, I think I called her Anne. That's Nelly. <laughs> Anne's another one of the survivors, excuse me. So then I am going to pick up this objective marker with my, okay, she broke the door, first action, free movement into here, second action, and then third action, I'm gonna pick this up. So five experience, it's not the blue one. She goes up to six. That's it for her. Carl is gonna go one. And then with his second action, he's going to shoot his chain lightning into there. So that's three dice. I need a five or higher with that. And I got two fives. So more than enough to kill this little guy right there. And then Carl jumps up to three experience. Then I think that's it for our survivors. Only five of them. It goes so fast. Maybe I was a little cocky. Maybe I needed the, that sixth survivor to grab something. So anyway, that's it for our survivors. So now we're going to go to zombie activation and oh man, I think Clovis is going to die. Yep, Clovis is going to die. Okay, so abomination activates. That means he automatically takes one damage. He's down to one life. These wolves are going to go one, two, and then three. So that's three points of damage activating in this square with Clovis. So that's, that's more than enough to kill him. He takes all the damage, brings him down to zip on the life. He's done. He died. Oh no, Clovis. Okay, when they, uh, when people die in Zombicide, they actually, they don't drop their weapons or anything like that. So if you're playing like that, those are house rules, definitely. So he's gone, all of his weapons are gone, everything's gone. And we're gonna move everything, one, two, three, uh, or one, two, three. I think that guy was here, right? So one, two, three, yep. One, two, three, move. This guy's at the spawn zone. It's not looking good for our survivors here, so. These guys move along. Then we're gonna spawn up here. So we'll do the spawn point first. One extra activation for all standard walkers, but if we're in the blue, which we are, nothing happens. So got out of that one. One runner for the necromancer spawn zone. We're gonna go over here, draw over there. Uh, once again, we get out We get out free. So it says all standard runners activate, but we're in the blue, so nobody Nobody activates. Very good. Then we're going to go down here where we've been drawing our worst cards. And there's a fatty. Not bad. Not bad. I needed that card a while ago. That is it for our spawning and it's on to our survivors. I'm going to activate Theo. And I'm going to use his sprint. So one, two. And I'm going to try to crack this door with Theo. So he's got the hammer for higher. This will be his second action. Got a three. Third action. I'm going to try again, and I got a six. Perfect. Crickety crack crack. All right, that's open. Good to go. He is done. Then I'm going to activate Baldrick. So one, two, and I'm going to use his free spell ability. And he's got Mana Blast, so four or higher. Got a one. That does not work. For his third action, I'm going to use Mana Blast one more time. Hopefully I can get a four or higher on this and kill that runner, because he gets two activations. You don't want him in your area. Okay. I got a two, not gonna work. Carl, I'm gonna use one movement act or one one activation point to move right there. Second activation, I am going to shoot into there. So he's got chain lightning, three or three dice. Um, oh, and I think I messed this up last time. 
the spell gets three dice, five or higher, but his ability that he starts out with is plus one to magic dice. So I messed up on that one, definitely. That is my bad. So he gets four dice, which is very good. I need one five or higher and I can kill him. And I got two sixes, that's more than enough. He goes away. Carl Dog gets one more experience up to four. And let's see here, he moved, shot. Third action, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna jump right into here. He's got the bastard sword, so he can kill things with uh, two, two points of damage like Fatty. So then I'm gonna go free movement. Then I'm gonna search with Nelly. She gets two search cards. So plenty of arrows, not gonna help us. And a dagger, which I can equip into her special equipment spot, which gives her plus one to a melee attack, which is good for the orcish crossbow that she has, but she's still, <laughs> I don't have anything that can kill this abomination. And then these wolves are chomping, chomping at the bit, chomping down my throat, whatever, trying to kill me basically. Free movement search, two, and then with the third one, I don't know if it's a smart idea to crack this door, because as soon as I crack this door, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rooms I'm going to have to spawn for. So, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to crack this door right here. Four or higher for Nelly, and then I'm going to have to use her dagger because the Orcish crossbow cannot open doors. I think I actually messed up here. I think when I was here, I opened that vault door with the Orcish crossbow. I wasn't supposed to do that, but... I have a feeling I'm gonna die anyway, so we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it, okay? So four higher, and I got a six. Okay, so get ready for a bunch of spawning. All right, we're gonna start right here, and it's gonna be one walker. We're gonna go to this room. No one in sight. Perfect. We're gonna go to this room right here. I drew a runner card. We're gonna go to this room right here. I did a double spawn, so I was going to pick this room next, so we'll double spawn right there. Okay, I got one fatty and another double spawn. So that double spawn is going to go over to that room. Right there. And I drew... Oh, no! <laughs> okay, so I drew two Necromancer cards. So he is on the square where he needs to be. He's going to activate right here. So that means he is off the board. That little shyster ran away. So that means this necromancer spawn zone becomes permanent. And if I get too many of those, I lose the game. So that's not good. And then I drew another necromancer spawn zone, or excuse me, another mech necromancer card. So I actually have to put a necromancer token right here in this room. So that is not good. So basically he's coming back around. He's like, what's going on guys? So that is that. Now we still have three more rooms. We're gonna put it right here. And I am drawing from the wrong deck. So right here, nothing in sight, hallelujah. Over here, one walker. Over here, one walker. Okay. Wow, okay, that was, that was something else. Okay, so that is it for our survivors and Luckily, I haven't cracked this door, so this necromancer is going to come right towards us. Hopefully, we can kill him. So, there's that. Survivors are done. I'm pretty sure all four of them are done. So, now we're going to go on to zombie activation. Let's deal with these wolves first. One, two, three. Luckily, they don't do any damage. Big boy's going to hop in the vault. Wolves are going to go one, two, three. And... Let's see, this runner, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I, let's just say he's gonna go that way. All right, these guys are gonna all start coming towards me that way. Um, I think this is the fastest route to that way. So if there's ever any question, you count the spaces. I'm just kind of speeding it along here. Walkers are gonna move up. Uh, zombies can't go through doors, so. Thank God I didn't break that door, because if I did, he would walk over there and just activate, and I, I'd probably lose, so not good. So he's going to move one towards that way. He's going to try to come over here. Fatty Boobad, he's going to go there. Runners get two activations. This guy is haul up in your business. I just knocked over a door, so that's okay. It was open. It was cracked. We knew what was going on there. I'll pick that up in a second. 
And those are our activations for our zombies. Now we are going to draw spawn zones. So one spawn zone up there. Got one fatty. Another spawn zone there that's permanent because of the necromancer. And oh, we got the... <laughs> The, the wolf abomination, so if we would have been in yellow, I would have had to put that big guy right there. Not good, but since we're in the blue, nothing happens. Perfect. So over here, we're going to spawn two wolves. Alright, then over here, we're going to spawn up there. And we got two walkers. Alright, it's getting pretty hairy. Okay, Baldrick actually has the great sword, so I am going to try and kill some of those guys with the great sword, which gets five dice, and I need to roll a five or higher. So I'm gonna try to take out these wolves. I gotta deal with them right away. Okay, and this one's cocked. I'm gonna roll it again, and I got one success. So that's his first action. Second action, I'm gonna go again and try to knock some of those guys off. And I got one success. Man, I'm rolling really bad. I need those guys to die. <laughs> and then third action. Actually, I'm gonna use his mana blast, his spellcaster. I'm gonna shoot a shoot into there, try to kill some of those wolves. And I got a five. Perfect. Okay, one of these guys goes away. And then with my last action, I am going to try to kill that guy with my great sword. And I needed that roll to begin with, but <laughs> there we go. Three experience for Baldrick, he goes up to nine, or four, excuse me, he killed uh, one wolf here, three there, I believe, so ten. He is into the yellow, so he actually gets an extra action. Everybody, when they level up to yellow, they get an extra action, so there is that. Carl, I'm going to go ahead and use Carl, and I'm going to try to attack with the bastard sword these two guys in here, four or higher. Okay, I got one, I'm going to kill that guy, the fatty. Second action, I am going to try to take out that walker. Okay, I got a six. That's all I needed. Perfect. Carl goes up to six experience. Then with his last action, let's see here. I'll shoot into there with, with, uh, with his lightning bolt. Okay, I got a five. That's all I needed. And... That guy goes down, and then I pop up to 7 experience with Carl. That's actually going to level him up to the yellow level. So he gets another action, and with that, I'm going to move into here. Oh, and I forgot. I messed up. So when I drew that Necromancer over there, I should have put a spawn zone down and then drew for that right away. So that's a, that's a mess up on my part. Oh, okay. No, I, I drew one right here. I, I think I forgot to spawn for it, though. Okay, so I... I forgot to draw right as this guy pops up. He should have. I should have drew an extra card right there for spawning. I didn't. Um, I'm just going to go with it, pretend like it never happened. So that's that. Okay, so with Nelly, I'm going to go free movement. And then one. And I'm going to shoot into here with the Orcish crossbow. So I need, I have two dice and then three or higher and they do two damage. So I got one success. I have to hit this guy first since it's arranged. Now with my second action, I actually have to reload that crossbow. And then with my third action, or actually I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna reload it. And then with my third action, I am going to shoot into here with the Orcish crossbow. Okay, so I got a three, that's all I needed. That goes away and goes up to eight, which actually puts her into the yellow level. So she has another action right away that she can use. I'm gonna move right into there. Okay, so Theo is actually gonna trade with Baldrick and he's gonna get the repeating crossbow. So that is three dice, five or higher, and I need to take out some of these wolves. So that's what I'm shooting for right now, so to speak. So second action with Theo, I am going to shoot into there and hit those wolves. And I got one five. So there goes that. Okay, and then I'm going to try to take that next one out. And I got a six. Awesome. So that goes away. I'm going to use the sprint ability. So one, two, three. And then 
I'm gonna go four. I'm gonna move right there. I need to pick up one of these objectives and eventually we need to start we need to start trying to get something to kill the abomination because that is part of the objective. So there is that. And hopefully nothing too bad spawns here because we got Baldric kind of isolated by himself with the abomination that's gonna be there next turn. So good luck, Baldric. We'll see how that goes. So on to the zombie activation. So let's move them all up. These guys are gonna go there. I think these guys, one, two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, that'll be much quicker. So every these guys are going that way. This big daddy pops into there. And these wolves are gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna spawn up here. So double spawn, so that goes to our next one. We're gonna draw two right there. And we're in the yellow, so we gotta remember that. So three walkers and then three walkers again. So six walkers right in that little space, so. That could have been better, but... Not too bad. He's got the great sword, so he can do some damage onto it, and hopefully he can knock some of them out. Now we're down to this spawn zone right here. We got one fatty. Onto this spawn zone right here. We got two walkers. The board's starting to get filled up. You can really see how it gets filled up pretty quickly. That's it, that's all the spawn zones. So we're onto the survivors. I'm gonna go ahead and use Baldric's free spell action to shoot into here. So four higher. I got a six. I'm gonna get one of those bad boys out of there, level him up. First action, I'm gonna move into here. Great Sword gets five dice, five or higher, so Hopefully all of them hit and I can uh, just get rid of them that way. <laughs> okay, so I got one success. That's not good. So that's his second action. Third action, I'm gonna go again. Oh, nice, I got three sixes. Okay, perfect. Would have been nice to get that one last guy out of there, but hey, what you gonna do? Okay, so I'm gonna do one more attack with the great sword. And I got four successes, <laughs> okay. I needed that early on, but I didn't get it. That's gone, so give him the experience for that. that was four, he's up to 15, so he's getting close to the orange, which is, uh, it is what it is. He gets a better ability, but he, we're gonna be drawing worse cards off during the spawn zone, so uh, that is that. Okay, so with Nelly, I'm actually gonna activate Nelly. I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, okay, it's the blue spawn zone. So Nelly picked up the blue spawn zone. She gets five experience, she's up to 13, and then immediately spawn a necromancer in the zone. If the necromancer is already on the board, place the abomination. So we don't have a necromancer on the board now, so we'll go ahead and put him right there. And then we need to draw a spawn card right away for him. So two walkers. Right there. Her second action, she is gonna use the Orcish crossbow to attack. It gets two dice, but she has the dagger, so plus one to melee, so three dice, and she needs three or higher. Oh, nice, okay, I got two threes and a four. That means all of these guys die, so that's perfect. Very good, very good turn. So we got rid of that. Now all we have to do is collect these objectives and then we are going to have to actually kill this abomination over there. <laughs> that abomination somehow, some way. So she picked up the token, attacked. She has two more actions left. I am going to search with Nelly. So she gets two cards, gets a dagger, and a fireball, so neither of those really help me. Man, all we need is some dragon bile or a vampire crossbow or something good like that to kill it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move, move right into here. Or actually I'm gonna move right into here for my fourth action. And then my third action, I'm gonna move right there. Or excuse me, my free action, I'm gonna move right into there. I was at four when I was here, free action. And then the reason for that is I want Carl to actually grab that torch and try to grab something. So Carl is up. He's going to steal the torch. Okay, so Carl's got the torch. He gets two cards to 
to pick from here. Okay, he grabs another torch and a shield. And then Carl is going to second action move into here, third action move into there, and then with his fourth action, he is going to trade and give the torch to Theo. And then Theo is gonna try to, please God, give me something good here. Okay, we got a bunch of hand bows, so nothing, nothing we can use. And then for Theo's second action, I'm gonna use the crossbow to shoot into here. Okay, I got a six, a four, and a two. So it takes five or higher, so I got one success. This guy dies, move it up to nine. His third action, I'm gonna move into here. And then I'm going to shoot into here with the repeating crossbow again. Three dice, five or higher. And I got a six. Awesome, out of there. He is up to 10. And that is it for our survivors. We're gonna go ahead and activate the zombies. So move them along. This guy moves two, moves up there. One, two, three. Um, I think this is still the closest way for these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means this would be the quicker way for them to go that way. And uh, we've moved everybody. Now we're gonna spawn. So we will spawn up here. And we got two walkers. Then we're gonna spawn for that next zone right down there. And we have, oh, we got one abomination. <laughs> okay, so we already have an abomination on the board. So he's gonna move right into there. It's not looking good for Baldrick. We're gonna move down to here for the spawning. Got four walkers. And then down to there for our last spawn zone, and we got one runner. Not bad at all, but you know, would have been nice if we would have gotten that up there. So that is it for that. It's on to our survivor's turn. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Baldric, and I'm going to try and clean out some of those walkers, the runner there, so I can actually try to get away from him. So first off, I'm gonna use my Mana Blast just because it's free. And I can hit one of these guys, the target priority for range goes walkers, fatties, abominations, and then everything else. I think it's uh, runners, wolves, and necromancers at the very end. So I'm going to use his free spell, four or higher, and I missed with that. So with his first action, I am going to use the great sword that he got. Five or higher, and I need, and they do uh, five dice, five or, five or higher. So I got two sixes, so I'm going to get these two guys out of there. My second action, I'm gonna kill one more of them. Okay, I got uh, I got three successes, but remember, I can't kill this guy with anything. So I have two actions left. One, two, I'm gonna move out of there. I'm gonna get, <laughs> get away from that guy, he's a jerk. I don't want anything to do with him. On to our next person, that will be Nelly. I'm gonna use her free movement, then I'm gonna search with the torch into here. And I got salted freaking meat, which is worthless, and then a deflecting dagger, which I can actually equip. But you know what? I don't have a space to use it. I'm still looking for that torch, or excuse me, the bile or something that I can use. Um, and then I'm just gonna disregard the salted meat. I don't, I don't need that. I'm gonna get that out of there. So then that was her first action. So two, three, and then four. I'm gonna move into there. And then with Carl, I am, I have three torches right now, so that's good. With Carl, I'm gonna search right here. So one, I got another torch, that's great. These dragon biles just must be right on the bottom. Horrible, so I got a storm bow, which is great, and then another torch, so two, three, and then four, I'm gonna pick this up. He goes up to 12 experience. Then we have Theo, who is going to go one, two, three. Okay, that's his sprint ability. Remember, one, two, three. That's one action. With his second action, I'm going to pick up this token, and he's going to go up to 15 experience. So I got all the tokens. I've killed a necromancer. I just need to kill that guy, and I may have to go through all these equipment decks because it is not being good. I, the shuffle gods were not kind to me. So he sprinted, picked up the object, and then... Objective, excuse me. And then he's going to go ahead and search. 
for his third action. So plenty of arrows. And I got a spell and plenty of arrows, which doesn't really help me out. So there is that. And I'm going to, for his last action, move right into there. And I'm going to call it a day. So on to zombie activation. I'm going to move all these guys up. This guy goes there. This guy goes under there. Once again, Baldrick is bothered by the abomination. These wolves have our scent. Um, these guys move there. The runner is running to freedom. I'm going to go over there, draw off of that. So first spawn zone over there. We're still in the yellow, so three walkers. Then the second spawn zone right there. Got two runners. Okay. Then we're going to go down here and spawn for that zone. And we got one fatty. I'm going to spawn for this zone right here. And I got four walkers. And then you got to be careful if you run out of miniatures, you actually, whichever miniature that you draw, you actually, they all gain one activation. So all these walkers are going to be moving a lot, uh, a lot faster towards them. So it can get a little problematic. We're going to go move our survivors. So we're going to go one, two, and then three, and then four. I'm going to search for my fourth action with Baldrick and... Hopefully I can get something good. He got Death Strike, which is a great spell. I'm actually going to equip that. But it doesn't kill the Abomination, so I'm going to keep going. So Carl is going to search right here. And he gets two searches. So he got plenty of arrows, plenty of bolts. Not going to help him. And I'm going to just forfeit his move. Then Nelly is going to search. And I got a Repulse and a Lightning Bolt. Uh, Repulse is great. I think you can actually just shove people into a zone. Carl went, Nelly went, Theo went. Alright, so we're going to go on to zombie activation. I'm going to move these guys up. All these guys move here. These guys move there. One, two, three. The wolves are coming after us. That moves there. That guy moves there. So we're all moving one along. One, two, these guys are moving over there. Um, I think that guy was there. It's it hard to track all of them. So, okay, we moved them all. Now we're going to spawn up here. So first card up there, three walkers. First card right here on this spawn zone, two walkers. Then we're going to spawn right there, double spawn, and we're going to move down here. Okay, so five walkers. Oh god, we're going. Uh, we're going real thin. We're almost out of them, which is not good. Okay, now it's going to go on to our survivors. Start off with Baldr. I'm going to go ahead and search this room with him. He doesn't have a torch, so he just gets one. Okay, <laughs> hallelujah, vampire crossbow. Okay, so this is what I need. I have to be in the yellow to use it. I can use it since Baldrick is in the yellow. It does one to two range, it does two dice, and it does three damage. So that is what I absolutely needed. I'm going to equip this right away, and I think I'm actually going to win this uh, win this mission. So I it was getting pretty close there. I wasn't sure if it's going to happen. Oh, and also the vampire crossbow, if you do a point of damage and kill a zombie, you can actually heal a life. It is the best weapon by far in the game. Two dice. I need to get a four or higher. And I believe that this guy is the targeting priority. So he is going to take the first range damage uh, between both of these, or all five of these zombies in here. The runners and the wolves are behind him. So he's going to take, if I get a four or higher on this, I win the game. Okay, so, oh, a five and a six. So that means this guy dies. You get five experience for the abomination. Then another one would die. But as you remember in our objectives, all I needed to do was kill an abomination, a necromancer, get all the objective tokens, and then I win. So that was it. it. It was coming down to the wire there. I was so happy that I, I, I ran away and I tried to keep myself alive as, I, as long as I could. And then when I drew spawns in this big area of nine rooms, I actually didn't spawn that bad of zombies 
in terms of numbers and then what they were. It wasn't too bad. I got a Necromancer here, I remember, but besides that, it really wasn't too bad. So this was Quest 1 out of the core set, Big Game Hunting. Thanks so much for watching. If uh, you noticed anything and you had some questions, leave it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe so you can see the next uh, quest that I put out on this if you're interested. And uh, stay happy and healthy, and I love you guys. Bye.